And now Storm Tracker weather with meteorologist Michael Ottovino. Tracking some rain to start off this Tuesday morning. A pretty wet start to the day across most of eastern Idaho, seeing widespread showers across the lower half of the Snake River Plain, even some shades of pink indicating some mixing across the higher elevations near Soda Springs, even spreading as far east as Jackson, even as we pan out, seeing the constant moisture source really coming in from the southwest. So that's what we'll be seeing throughout the morning. I think a bulk of the moisture really stays to the south and east of, po of Pocatello, staying across the southeast Islands. Now, it does look like for the most part, the moisture across the Snake River Plain generally tapers off during the middle to the later half of the morning, but we could even see some more showers and even a thunderstorm building for this afternoon. Looks like the greatest areas of seeing that will be across the upper half of the Snake River Plain. Temperatures out there to start off this morning, kind of on the mild side, only in those 40s. It's 43 degrees in Idaho Falls, 44 degrees in Pocatello and American Falls. Seeing temperatures in the 30s, much cooler, or so to spring 34 degrees it's currently 36 degrees in Montpelier and as we move into the afternoon temperatures really don't even rise too much maybe about 10 degrees in some areas will generally be in the 50s by this afternoon higher elevations only seeing those 40s and there is a chance that we do see a thunderstorm for this afternoon as well timing out that moisture seven o'clock this morning again still seeing those showers persist across the snake river plain heavier rain up across Rexburg even by San Anthony mixture of rain and snow across the highlands, western Wyoming. And then by about 9 o'clock, it looks like most of those showers are east of the I-15 corridor. But then as we move into the afternoon, by about 3 o'clock, notice even a thunderstorm possible up by Rexburg, St. Anthony, even across Idaho Falls, seeing some showers across the lower half of the Snake River Plain for the most part. Looks like the bulk of the moisture will be seen during the morning, not really seeing much for this afternoon. The Central Mountain still seeing a mixture of rain and snow. Looks like across Salmon, your area will see mainly rain. And then as I put it in motion, 7 o'clock tonight again, upper half of the Snake River Plain, still seeing that rain persist. Even by about 11 o'clock tonight, Idaho Falls could still see a chance of a shower. So that chance of rain for the later half of the evening, even into the overnight, will generally be across the upper half of the Snake River Plain. Temperatures tonight, notice, much cooler. We'll be in the 30s for tonight. Some areas will actually be below freezing. It'll be 32 degrees tonight in Idaho Falls, 31 degrees in Rexburg, 35 tonight in Pocatello and American Falls. And across the Central Mountains, generally seeing temperatures in the 20s and the 30s. Your southeast Idaho Chevy dealer seven day forecast leaves us with some showers for this morning and then a chance for a thunderstorm this afternoon. High temperature of 54 degrees. But look at that Wednesday, partly sunny temperatures on the rise. Lots of sunshine on Thursday, Friday, 71 degrees. But for the weekend does look like the weather will be unsettled. Chance of showers and thunderstorms Saturday with a chance for rain on Sunday. So overall looks like we're seeing pretty consistent chances of moisture on, on both weekend days and then temperatures rise into the 60s by Monday across Idaho Falls partly sunny for tomorrow mainly sunny on Thursday Friday high temperature of 70 degrees absolutely beautiful weekend again chances of moisture on both Saturday and Sunday across the Teton area Jackson Afton and Driggs rain and snow for today chance of some showers tomorrow partly sunny on Thursday mainly sunny on Friday high temperatures in the mid 50s and then Saturday and Sunday looks like chances of moisture consistent for each day and for the Central Mountains, we'll see some showers for this morning, even a thunderstorm possible this afternoon. Higher elevations, we'll see a mixture of rain and snow with a partly sunny sky for the middle of the week.